And welcome everybody back to this series on Google Reader in 30 Day Challenge Pre-Season. Now, what I wanted to show you was how to set up your flashy new Firefox browser so you can automatically grab feeds wherever you happen to be. How do we know a page has a feed? And you can see here we've got tubbynerd.com, uh, which is my personal blog. How do you know that there's a feed on this page? There, there are two giveaways. See this symbol here in the coffee mug? That is the universal symbol, that dot with the two radar, if you like, of an RSS feed. And what happens in your browser is any time it detects an RSS feed, look at this. It shows up in your Firefox browser right up here in the address window. And you can see if I hover over it, it says subscribe to this page. Now, before you hit that though, I want you to check something. And you need to go in, well, on your Macintosh, you need to go to Preferences. And depending on how your PC set up is Options. But where I want you to go is, you can see here you've got Main, Tabs, Content. I want you to click on Applications. And this tells you um, what applications, uh, various media types, various file types, movies, audio, etc., etc., want to be used for. Now, if I scroll right down, I'm looking for web feed. Here we are. Now, you may not have anything at the moment, or you indeed, you may have Firefox or something there. What you need to do is you need to select it and then drop down menu here and click use Google. Okay? Because there's a really cool thing when that happens. Now, obviously, I'm already subscribed to my particular feed, but just for purposes of demonstration, if I click on subscribe to this page, you can see there are a number of different um, op options here. I can add it as a bookmark in Delicious, which is nice. I can subscribe using uh, Atom, or the one we want is the feed. So we can click on feed. Now watch what happens. Check that out. Up comes a page from Google. All I have to do is hit Add to Google Reader. It'll pop straight up. And then remember we use that folder drop-down menu to show exactly where, where you need to put it. Now, I'm not going to add it because I've already added it and sometimes it throws a wobbly on me. <laughs> so you can do that. Now, while I'm back at Tubby Nerd, I wanted to show you a couple of other things apart from this awesome photo of Molly that I took. Remember, I showed you the share buttons, and you'll see in the next video with the iPhone also the share buttons. And remember, I told you about how you could comment using notes and so on. Check this out. I showed you how to I hit share on this particular article from Google Reader, and you can see there's my note, and you'll see this in the upcoming iPhone video. You'll see there's my note. So we're sort of transforward. We're moving forward in time. And I'm showing you this and you'll see how exactly how I did it in uh, the next video. But it's really cool. So that gives some context about where it is. And of course, if I click on this, rather than taking me back to Friend Feed or Google Reader, it actually takes me back to the specific article which is really, really cool, I think. You can also see the very cool 30 Day Challenge Facebook application. If you haven't uh, clicked through, make sure you click on that and uh, sign up to our Facebook application this year as well. All right, so with that little change, then pretty much anywhere where you go for a site, you will get this sort of information for it. You'll remember the very talented and lovely Brent Hodgson showed us about Google Alerts. Very, 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 very cool service. So if we go back into our news area in Google, you'll notice, look, even the Google feed here says RSS is available, which is very cool. And you can also see there's a link up there. So if we want to link to our top stories, you can absolutely do that, which is very, very cool. Now, for example, if I want to follow, say, Leica here in Google News, look what we've got up here, an RSS feed. If I click on that and subscribe, do 
check this out. Add to Google Reader. And then I'm going to put this in my photography area. And it's already in my photography. And I could add it to more than one area. I could add it, for example, to Vital Reads as well. I'm not going to in this particular case. But look at this. Any time Leica is mentioned anywhere in a news article, anywhere on the planet, bam, that information is delivered directly into my Google Reader. You can see I've got an individual um, description down there. And, of course, you can see there's my all my photography blogs. I can literally monitor hundreds and hundreds of photography blogs, literally, from my Google Reader. Or, as you're about to see in my next video, which is my super secret weapon, you've got to watch this next video. And if it doesn't convince you to buy an iPhone, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> because when you see what I do in the next video, you're going to be astounded. So there you have it. And I can have a look here. And that's obviously a horse, which which is a uh, which is a Leica. Um, you can see. So sometimes you know it all. Any time it's mentioned Leica, I perhaps could have used Leica photography, and I can click on here. And again, you can see if I wanted to share that, I could hit that share button, and boom, off it would go. I'm not going to do that because that'll go off into my Twitter feed. Now, a new feature, brand new, literally only days old, is that you can hit the like button and this adds another little extra filter which shows that it's been liked anytime where you see share or like or thumbs up or any of those sorts of things if you do like what you've just read i really encourage you to hit that like button or share button or thumbs up button or whatever it happens to be because more and more google the search engines rely on that sort of information to decide what goes in and out of search engines. And so it's, it's a good practice, you know, and it doesn't take you anything when you're reading an article just to hit like or just hit share or just hit, you know, these buttons. It's very simple and you can do it and you can make it, you make a big difference. And of course, you know, you want people to do that to your content, right? So it's very, very important. Don't do it for the sake of doing it. Don't just press like automatically. Do it when you like something and it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Check out this next video. You're going to be blown away when you see what I can do with an iPhone.